Yeah, 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 let's talk about it, man. Fuzzy Tube, creator that I really like. By the way, like the video on your way in. Help grow the channel, man. Let's make this big. Let's get it popping. I really appreciate the new people who've been popping in, liking the content. Best way to can, you can help is liking the video. And by the way, I have a question at the end of this. Y'all think Fuzzy going to make a comeback? Yes or no? Get in the comments first. Let me know. But let's start off with this, man. Fuzzy is in a mental hospital. He is in a mental hospital. And I think that anybody who's been following Fuzzy since the prank days, the Roman Atwood days, the Vitaly days, man, y'all saw this coming. Let me tell you something, man. But now let's be real about people, man. People really don't change, right? People don't really, really change, change. People stay the same, really, especially after you become an adult, really. Like, who you are at 25 is probably going to be the algorithm of who you're going to be until you're probably going to die. Yes, there's things that are going to change, little alterations, but in general, that's who you're going to be. And this is who Fousey is, man. Fousey is a dude that goes on a content spree. He usually forgets to take his meds or is not being managed properly and then has manic episodes and then has to go to a mental facility to come back right. Disappear for a few months and then come back. That's what Fuzzy Tube is. That's who he is. That's who Yusuf is. And this time was no different. So I'm going to read this YouTube, this uh, TMZ article and then I'm going to get back to it. So it says YouTuber Fuzzy, Fuzzy has a frightening had a frightening interaction with the cops while live streaming, cussing out officers and being taken in for a mental health evaluation. Fuzzy was streaming on Kick Tuesday night at the Intercontinental Miami. You can hear him screaming at the police dispatcher on the phone as someone from his team tries to get him to calm down. They did a terrible job, by the way. That's just me talking. Fuzzy tells the dispatcher someone's been harassing him or possibly even threatening him. And in an attempt to get cops to hurry to his room, he tells them he has a gun pointed at his head and is begging officers to speed uh, over there. Here, over there, cops eventually arrive and end up cuffing Fuzzy after all the ruckus. And he calls them dumb as F. <laughs> Miami PD tells TMZ cops did not arrest Fuzzy, but determined he needed to be brought to the hospital for a mental health evaluation. Sources close to the situation tell us he's been the victim of constant harassment, threats, and swatting, and it's taken a toll. The claim of constant harassment seems to be supported as at least one other streamer was live streaming around the same time and calling the cops on Fuzzy, telling Dispatch he's armed. For those unaware, Fuzzy fans have been concerned about his mental health lately after freaking out when he used the N-word on live stream marathon earlier this month while rapping along to J. Cole Love Yours. He claimed it was an accident. And sat down with us on the TMZ Verified podcast, telling us all the reason why he deeply regretted saying the racial slur. He also told his followers earlier this month he would be going to go to the doctor after his close friends and family wanted him to get a mental health evaluation. So, you know what I mean? I feel bad for Fuzzy, you know what I mean? But at the same time, he is a 33-year-old man, right? At a certain point, you have to recognize who you are and you have to volunteer yourself to get help. You know what I mean? If he was 20, okay. You know, if he was 18, absolutely. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't feel, you know, I would feel actually way worse, but you're a 33 year old man. If you feel you're going to the edge, then what's your job and responsibility? Go to a doctor, go to a hospital. If you're getting harassed and threats, go, go, instead of going to the police, first go to the hospital, get your mentals checked, and then go to the police. You know what I mean? By the way, that punk live streamer that called the police on him, he's a punk. He should get, he should get some kind of, you know what I'm saying, fine or some kind of, you know, action, consequences against him. But Fousey's in the right spot right now, which is a hospital. And he should get medication right away. You see, I watched some of his live streams on Kick. 
he was about to get like a $13 million deal and he ruined it. See, that's what happens when you don't take care of your mentals. That's what happens when clout and social media. And by the way, I'm telling you right now, social media has a big part to play in this. Clout and social media take over your brain, bro. You know what I mean? So for me, when I saw him smacking up the Island Boys, Josh Doherty, Neon, Ada Ross, I'm like, man, you getting overstimulated, bro. You got to take your medication, man. But we'll see what happens. I'm a fan of Fuzzy. Uh He's definitely going to come back harder than before and then end up in a mental hospital again. My thing is, I just want to make sure that he has the right team around him, the right people, because this is going to happen again. You know, this is definitely going to happen again. As long as he has the right people around him, it won't be as bad. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Fuzzy, do you think he's going to come back? Do you think this is raps for his social media, you know, content creator career? Because no matter what we say, dude is incredibly entertaining. Incredibly entertaining. You know what I mean? But we can't deny that. We can't take that away from him. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Big J TV, I'm out.